over to a civil society representative, Ms. Rosette Adair. You have the floor. Mr. President, Excellencies, I would like to thank the Council for the opportunity to share my story as a refugee seeking safety and an education. My name is Rosetta Dera. Since 2006, my husband and I have lived in the United States of America, where I continue to strongly advocate for girls' education and the inclusion of refugees. My personal journey can be traced through multiple border crossings in search of safety, identity, and education. As a baby, my parents brought me across the Rwanda-Uganda border to flee violence. To escape the Amin Obote turmoil, I crossed the Uganda-Kenya border seeking asylum and an opportunity for education when I was eight. In Kenya, I became a registered alien, but with no past naturalization and with restrictions to movement, going to school and integration were difficult. After a year, I was granted refugee status and became a ward of UNHCR with protection and provisions such as school. With this recognition came a promise for a future. School for me became a place for both hope and adventure. I excelled and found my identity. In primary school, I became the leader of my Girl Guide troop, and one of my duties was to raise and salute the Kenyan flag every Friday and lead the entire assembly of teachers and pupils in the Pledge of Allegiance and National Anthem. In those stolen moments, this refugee girl could imagine what it felt like to be a citizen to belong to a country and to have a flag and an anthem. Through hard work, determination, and based on merit, I secured a UNHCR scholarship to attend university. I loved language, so I majored in English and became an ESL teacher. My passion for helping fellow refugees took me right back into the refugee community to teach ESL. This was an opportunity to serve the population I understood so well. I still had no right of return and no path to citizenship, so I sought the opportunity to move to Canada where I continued my work as an ESL instructor. I was stateless but had a university degree and was fluent in English. I was able to make contributions to society and support myself immediately. After the stipulated three years, I applied and was granted citizenship. With citizenship at last, all that longing turned into belonging with full rights of inclusion, protection, and privilege, including access to graduate school. If it wasn't for the asylum and the recognition and protection of UNHCR, I would not have had the opportunities I've had to grow and excel and serve as an educator and advocate. I am where I am because someone invested in me. I tell my story to share the plight and sometimes hope of other refugees in similar situations. Education is a fundamental right for all children, should be inclusive and be sensitive to the psychological and social needs of the refugee community. Educating girls boosts confidence and hope, promotes independent thinking, reduces support of terrorism, and raises inclusion and respect. There is a UNHCR poster caption that I love. It says, a bundle of belongings is not the only thing a refugee brings to his new country. Einstein was a refugee. When this saying is on a t-shirt, the back says, what if the world had turned its back on Einstein? Indeed, I might ask, what if the world had turned Time its back up. on 